what's up guys, it's Gio and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live, episode number 72, and happy Wednesday to everybody out there. Um, anyway, we're playing more UU, and uh, I got a battle ahead of time, because that's how I roll. Anyway, uh, looking at this guy's team, if I weaken Mega Blastoise and get rid of Bronzong, he gets run over by Mega Aerodactyl. Aerial Ace, that doesn't appreciate an Aerial Ace. Stone Edge, Aqua Tail, and Aqua Tail. So, uh, that will be the goal. His rocker is Bronzong, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lead Crocodile. Um, we'll see if uh, he actually leads with Bronzong. He could lead with Blastoise, but if he does, it doesn't put me in too bad of a situation. Um, yeah, he does end up leading with Blastoise, so that's a little unfortunate, but, um, I think right here I'm gonna go ahead and floor just because it forces in either this thing or this thing and uh, I can kind of capitalize off that because then I just get my rocks up uh, for free if I double the crook he ends up getting a burn with scald which is fine um, but I don't think he wants to stay in looking at that damage so I'm going to double the crook um, I actually made this play earlier when I was laddering uh, or just trying to get a few matches beforehand and it didn't work out for me so we're going to hope that it works out right here um, but when I brought it out last time it was versus Tentacruel so I couldn't actually do anything to him don't sculpt. Uh, why? Why? <laughs> why do you do this to me? Um, I'm gonna go and. Well, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I just lost my thing that weakened like half of this team on a pretty useless double. So I'm gonna go into Chestnut right here. And, um. <laughs> no fear. Of CM Forge, despite two safe switch ins. Chillin'. Chillin' harder than Leffen. Ooh. Um, so anyway, I'm out here with Chestnut. Um, I really expected him or her to switch to one of these mods. I don't know. Um,. Or Nido King. I guess, yeah. I now, now that I see that, I kind of understand it more. Uh, she's kind of fearing the Crook Trap. Um, which, you know, rightfully so. Um, but just going to go out to Shandy right here as I get up my seeds. Dim seeds. And uh, probably going to go out into Entei. Or Tentacruel. Either one works. I'm going to go out to Tentacruel. Um... I can wear down Bronzong uh, with Leech Seed and Spikes, and I think that's going to be my best method. Um, if I do get rid of these two things, I can probably beat him with CM Forges, but he ends up missing a Fire Blast, which is nice. Um, I can just go straight away for the uh, Acid Spray right here, because um, it will lower the Spadef of whatever comes in, um, allowing me to fire off Skulls a lot more, a lot more safely versus Mega Blastoise. Um, also, if he goes into bronze, or if he, or he goes into bronze, I guess this point he goes into Rotomo, which is fine, because uh, I hit him for super effective damage. It's easy, and uh, I can go into Entei, because um, Entei can eat up neutral volt switches um, with the AV, with the AV, and um, generally just make it a lot easier on the rest of my team to sponge these volt switches. Um, as we see the volt switch, that actually did a lot. That's offensive as God. Anyway, <laughs> uh, wouldn't be surprised to see this thing ag again. Um, don't really want him to be Guts Machamp, although with Heracross in the meta, there's not a whole lot of reason to be running this. I actually have a really bad web team that I made um, that I think it would be Mark with, but that was mainly based off team preview and the fact that he had Noivern and Crobat, both of which, which are threatened. Both of which are threatened by Mega Glalie. Actually, no, he brought Sun. Uh, weather's a cool a cool experience and you you will call it that um i kind of want a sacred fire here predicting him to uh, predict my switch into chestnut um or him or her whatever um I, I will always assume it's a guy on the internet unless definitively proven otherwise so i get off 14 percent and the burn it's easy uh he is, just goes for the skull but i'm able to eat that up so it's fine um e-speed may be helpful for later never really know so i'm just gonna go to Ooh, or do I Stone Edge? Kind of want a Stone Edge, um, mainly because if he gets one Hazard up with Bronzong, then it makes it a lot harder for Entei to switch in. Um, 
and okay, so I the reason okay I'm hacking him to death. Uh, the reason I went for Stone Edge there is that I didn't want a free switch into this being just forfeited. So uh, I think right here I'm just gonna go out into my chestnut and uh, probably go for the leech seed to be honest, um, because with the leech seeds I can get some health back right here. Um, I could also set up a spike on the predicted switch. I kind of want to do that, because then it starts helping me get pressure on Machamp and Nidoking. King, and Nido King and Nido Queen wreck this team. Um, I suppose that was one benefit to having uh, Shandy, but he ends up going out of Bronzong, so watch this play. I'm just going to hit him with the taunt. I think Jaraball gets blocked by Bulletproof, um, <laughs> and I don't think he'll expect me to have the taunt right here, so I can just uh, taunt, then either seed the switch or... Um, Drain punch it. We'll see. Um, either way, helps me apply a lot of offensive pressure. Um, I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go for the seeds right here. And the reason I'm gonna seed is because his Blastoise should go down if I do lead seed right here, meaning this hazard is here to stay, as opposed to if I uh, were to go for a spike, it would live and it could spin away the hazards. He ends up going in, out in a shandy though, which is fine because uh, I actually end up hitting another lead seed. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I can go into Tentacruel probably. Yeah, that's probably my safest play. Um, even though he can just double out into Blastoise, predicting that without too much effort. Um, it will be very nice for me to uh, j just be able to get some more pressure on the Chandelure, especially since I do believe it is Life Orb. Um, just ends up going, ooh, cool. I uh, ended up going for the Wisp. Um, Right here, though, I don't have a whole reason not to go for the Scald, to be completely honest. Um, Blastoise is already burned, and uh, just taking more damage is nice. Also, if I get rid of this Shandy, um, that's just one step farther for um, Chestnut to deal with his entire team. Because uh, it deals with that. It deals with that. Uh, ends up going for the Oh, God. <laughs> that was bad. That was really bad. Um... I don't know what I'm going to do versus Blastoise then. It's unfortunate. I could try to pick up the Rapid Spin kill from real. Um, but I don't actually think it'll kill, which is unfortunate. And that's the one thing that I don't like about uh, UU. There is actually zero spin blockers. So um, it's kind of hard to uh, run hyper offense. But anyway, uh, he just goes out into this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Acid Spray. Because then he'll die to Scald for sure. Um... And it's kind of unfortunate that this is the same. Actually, you know what? I should probably double the chestnut. I should do that. Because then I can just uh, get a spike up no matter what. Uh, but you know what? I ended up acid spraying. It didn't kill. He ends up spinning. It's easy. Um, at least, though, this does give me a little bit of initiative. Because I get to see what he goes out and do next. Um, if he goes out into this, that's really unfortunate. But I'll just go out into chestnut and uh, throw down a spike. As that spike will be here to stay. Um, he could go into Bronze Song if he really wants to, but there's no reason for me to save Tentacle at that point. I can just fire off a Scald, or two Scalds, try to get a burn. But, to be honest, I'm kind of expecting Rotom Mode to just come in, Volt Switch. Uh, yeah, it is Rotom Mode that we see, so that's a little unfortunate, but... I'm gonna go for a Toxic Spike on the off chance you trick. Because what that does is it forces in... Actually, I don't really want Neto King out, but, you know, um... And that could be Guts Machamp. This poor play, isn't it? And, uh, he just killed me anyway. It's Ite. Um, I'm assuming he'll go out into King right here. I don't really see any other play for him. Um, but that does open up a lot of room for this thing to just wreak havoc on his entire team. Uh, Aerodactyl does actually tear apart a lot of his team. So does uh, this thing. But you manage to get it in safely. Um, the question is, do I kill with Aqua Tail from full? kind of doubt it, to be completely honest. Uh, it goes out into Machamp, which is fine. Um, I'm going to go out into Florges, and the reason I'm going to go out into Florges is because i got to click um, Aromatherapy. We'll see if he has he Heavy Slam right here. If he does, that's unfortunate, uh, but it's an opportunity for me to go ahead and get a Spike Up or, or a Leech Seed. Um, so Aromatherapy away. Um, if we see a bullet punch here, um, he's probably AV. If we see heavy slam, he's choice man. 
Either way, I could die to either one. So, just a little bit of a scary moment. Hopefully, he doesn't just blow me back right here. Uh, he ends up going down to Bronzong now, which is fine. Because I get to go out into Chestnut. Uh, dodge the Gyro Ball. If he has Toxic, um, and he goes for it, that's dumb. Uh, but I'm assuming he'll just Stealth Rock right here. Um, I wonder how many spikes... I think I only need one spike to knock out Nidoking King with a... Uh, to knock out Nidoking King with a... Uh, poison thing. Yeah, he goes for the Toxic. Uh... To knock out Nidoking King with Aqua Tail, that's what I was trying to say. Um, I don't think he'll stay in right here, to be completely honest. Um, I'm going to go for the Leech Seed, uh, predicting him to switch out into Nidoking. King. If he goes out into Machamp, I'm just going to spike and then sack this, I think. Um, actually, I kind of... Okay, I get my seeds up, that's nice, as he rocks. Um, so, I'm just going to... I kind of want to double seed, because there's not a whole lot of reason for me staying right here. I'm going to double seed. Um, I, I really want him to go out to Nidoking, because once I get Nidoking off, out of the way, then um, I can stall out his Gyro Balls with Florges and just win the game, uh, which will be very nice. Um, so he goes into Rotomo. Easy. Missed anyway. Um, I'm just going to spike, because if he scarfs me into spikes, uh, worse things have happened. Um because then I can just rack up more damage against this team. And to be honest, I don't see why I'd go into this unless he's going to trick. Unless he just wanted to dodge a lead seed, in which, case, in which case, great play. Uh, he ends up T-bolting right here, which is fine. I get a spike out of the exchange. And um, I can just spike again without any real trouble. Uh, this Bronzong is going to be annoying. It really stunk that I lost Crook. Um, I shouldn't have played that aggressively early game. But I think... It, <laughs> Because the Nittos uh, threaten my team so much that it's kind of a switch that I have to make sometimes. And whether it be a pleasant one or not, it's just something that I gotta deal with sometimes. Uh, right here, I think I'll probably just Moonblast. Um, I can send. <sighs> T Bolt isn't gonna do 35%, is it? It probably will. I'm going to synthesis, um, hopefully he goes out in a brown zone, and I can just start clicking Calm Mind, um, although that's not his, that's not his best play by far, um, his best play is to go out to, to Nidda King, and I think just win the game, unless I get some miraculous hacks, uh, he goes out in a brown zone though, okay, I can do this, uh, I'm going to click Calm Mind, um, mainly due to the fact that I don't think he can 2 it kill me with Jarrah Ball, uh, because A, I am pretty slow, even though he's 63 speed, um, I am pretty slow, and um, I am very bulky, so he ends up Toxicking right here. Uh, I kind of want to Moonblast, uh, predicting Nidoking, which I think is my best play, because if I can just get chip damage on this Nidoking, it makes it a lot easier for me to deal with uh, down, the, down the line. Um, I could also see him again. That's an option. That's definitely an option. Um, he goes down to Rotom Mo. And that I just crit it and kill it. So that's cool. Um, maybe he's just trying to get himself a free switch into Nido King, which, you know, is respectable. Um, but Floor just can actually bring this back. Just gotta play really smart and get some hacks. Because <laughs> um, I think. Because there's no way he's gonna let me weaken his Nido King. Because he's a better player than that. But, you know, even if we do take this loss, I feel like I recovered pretty well from losing Crook early game. Um, if we look at his team right now, Crook beats two of his members, so that's pretty lame that I lost it. But, um, I'm just going to roam with therapy here, to be honest. Um, if he bullet punches, I don't think he's going to be able to do that much. If he heavy slams, he just kills me and I lose either way. Because um, I would need Floor just to beat this later on down the line. Um, I actually had to beat him. That's cool. He goes for the dynamic. Oh. This, this is how it's going to be. Um, I'm going to go for the Calm Mind. The reason I'm going to go for the CM is that I think if I... Uh, what if he's just CMing and then doubling the Nidda? That'd be that'd be AIDS. Um, but I can't really do anything about it. I, I can't switch into Aerodactyl. Not this early. Yep, there it is. There it is. Of course. Time to lose to Dynamic Punch. Um, please, for the love of... God, let me let me get this synthesis off. Please, Zero. <laughs> I, I really don't want to uh, lose. Uh, 
You know, I don't think I would have brought it back either way. Um, and you know, I, I'm trying not to blame uh, matches on hacks as much because I know that hacks isn't like the sole determining factor in games, and you definitely lose matches other than to hacks. Um, because like that turn two where I lost my crook was it turn two? Yeah, turn two where I lost crook. Um, could have definitely played that a lot better. Um, but it's just like, eh, that's kind of dumb at the end. Double confusion, but you know, it's okay. Um, if I had played better, I wouldn't have had to uh, have that situation right there. Even though, um, Floor just is kind of there with two wall fighting types. And you, what are you supposed to do when you fight and when they just crit you? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna click Roost right here because I think he's gonna click BP. Um, just basically to give me a little bit more survivability, to be honest. Uh, Mega Arrow is actually really frail. So there's 44 eight, def defense, EV. Oh god. I just got blown back, so that's a good game. Um, I wasn't going to break past Bronzong anyway, so if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please, oh, I didn't want to open a board. Please make sure to leave a like, because it really does self-show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is what do you guys think of the Mega Metagross suspect? Um, I'm honestly on the fence about it right now. Um, you know, I'll, I, I may ladder. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content or that. I'll catch you on the flip-flop.